An else system is a set of rules to iterate a fractal. The number of times you apply the rules to a string controls the depth of the resulting fractal. Using an else system creates a string made up of zeros, ones, characters to control a state stack, and to change angle values. Here are three examples from the 1990 book, The Algorithmic Beauty of Plants. The grammar is written on the bottom, and the resulting fractal is displayed in the figures. That was our starting point. Here's our representation of one of the example trees. We can control the number of times we iterate the string, making the tree much larger. We can scale leaves in, make it fatter, make the recursive length smaller or larger. We can raise and lower the initial length as well. achieve nice complicated structures. Here's our symmetrical L system. Once again we can bring the leaves in, make the recursive length smaller, make it larger again. With the press of a button you can save the values necessary to recreate these trees to a file. Now these trees are still being drawn in a plane, as you can see here. Uh, we have a randomization algorithm, which I'll show you in a second to eliminate that. First, we have a random L system generator. Every time you apply the rules, it randomly selects the replacement string based on the styles of replacement string that we observed in our research. Basically, the two styles are symmetrical and asymmetrical. So now with this one, it doesn't repeat itself anymore. It, uh, it's different. All the branches are different. So now we see our randomized interpretation of the L system. So given one string, we can interpret it multiple ways and get different trees. And the way we do that is by randomly spinning child branches about the parent branch. And we do this all the way down the recursion. So here we see an example of changing the color of leaves, almost as if you're going from summertime to autumn. And what happens in autumn? The leaves fall. Here's our randomization interpretation hard at work creating new trees for us to enjoy. We have sky map in the background, texture mapped bark, texture mapped leaves, and the moon is casting shadows. Shots of our work. Thanks for watching, everyone.